Hello everyone, welcome to Tactics for Tomb. Today we are looking at the Fallen Avatar on Heroic Difficulty. This video assumes that you're familiar with the fight on Normal Difficulty. Let's get started. Start the fight with Time Warp. Make sure to keep an eye out for Unbound Chaos as it will likely be the biggest thing to wipe groups. Do not drag it over tanks, and avoid other players as best as possible. Run away from Rupture Realities. If you are melee and targeted by Shadow Blades, run them to the sides. If you are ranged and targeted by Shadow Blades, just make sure to point them away from the main. Unlike normal difficulty, these will now leave pools of goo that does damage and slows anyone inside them. Use a light personal, but not an immunity, if you'll take more than one blade at a time. Tanks, make sure to keep swapping when appropriate and move the main to her new spots immediately. Split the raid up into five sections as best as possible for the new mechanic, Touch of Sargeras. These green pools will appear in groups of three. Send two people for smaller groups and three minimum for anywhere at or above 15 group members to stand in these and soak. Towards the end of the phase, refrain from using immunities and save them for phase two. Because of the very heavy DPS check, bring the least healers possible and make sure to get all four Maiden Shield phases, meaning Avatar cannot get any extra energy and the Maiden has to be swapped off as soon as Cleansing Protocol is completed. For the final Cleansing Protocol, make sure most people, especially ranged, have cooldowns ready. Most of the time this lines up with an Unbound Chaos which will take a lot of DPS away from the Maiden to remove her shield. Ideally, the Avatar will be under 35% when he finally breaks the platform to go below. Tanks, position the Avatar as far to the corner as possible, ideally going around the room to the four locations shown. The order of these does not matter, including the first one, so just make sure he is positioned in all of these locations. This will leave one or two platforms left over at the very end for a tiny bit of extra DPS. Avatar cannot be dragged into lava as it causes him to do more damage with his passive group-wide AoE. Tornadoes will fly around in heroic difficulty. Do not get hit by any, otherwise you'll take massive dot damage. Use immunities for dark marks whenever possible, and towards the end of the fight, people may need to start sacrificing themselves to prevent too much group damage. If all of these mechanics are done correctly, the boss will go down and you can collect your loot. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your kill.